In one shocking experiment, researchers found that senior citizens who didn't feel useful to others were nearly three times as likely to die prematurely as to those who did feel useful. This speaks to a broader human truth. We all need to be needed. The Dalai Lama. Senior citizens are the largest and fastest growing population in the world. Today, the elderly population in the United States is 50 million people and makes up 15% of the population. By 2060, it is estimated that the elderly population in the United States will reach 98 million people. Senior citizens are living longer and working longer. They want to be part of our society and want to be useful to not only themselves, but to others. However, they have been facing a series of social inequities. As people age, they have many needs. They need connection. They need a social environment in which they can relate to people. They want to feel needed and they want to feel like they're contributing. I'd say there's probably about 40 people here at the Redwoods who actually have some kind of official employment. There's probably 30 or 40 more people who would very much like to have a paid job. But seniors definitely want to be employed and they want to have meaningful work. It makes a huge difference in their lives. The workplace is a really is a, a really nice fit for an older person to feel like they're contributing and feel like they have a purpose. The most exciting thing that some of our residents are doing in the job world here is with Sarah Oliver and the, the Pearlettes Plus One. My name is Sarah Oliver and I own a small handbag business. I hire seniors in a retirement community to help me make those bags. They do all the hand knitting. They were just enthusiastic about being included in something other than their everyday life. They decided just to call themselves the Pearlettes. I'm Daphne Campbell and I'm 95. My name is Hector Richards. I just turned 80. My name is Ellie Leva and I'm going to be 89 next week. No, yeah, I keep forgetting how old I am. My name's Esther, and I, I'm 83. Sarah Oliver Handbags, Aging 2.0, and Encore.org are making an effort to combat age discrimination in the workforce. Sarah Oliver pays the perlets on a piece rate basis in order to meet their needs. Sarah Oliver's efforts were crushed by the federal government because under the Fair Labor Standards Act, Employers are required to pay their employees on an hourly rate basis, and in result, they can no longer contribute to her company. A lot of members of the public uh, all over the country had kind of the, the wrong impression about what her system for producing handbags was. These were being manufactured by seniors. Oh, that's why. And that's the new manufacturing yeah. model that it she could. That's why it can't be a nine to five job. Right. Yeah. You are doing this. You can't do that hour after eight hours a day. Someone got the wrong notion uh, that she might have been exploiting seniors, and it's not the case at all. People felt that the knitters weren't um, being paid appropriately. I received a surprise visit from the Department of Labor. The Department of Labor started investigating um, Sarah Oliver handbags. I was very forthcoming. I had nothing to hide and really was told this all sounds great. We'd love, but we'd love to talk to the knitters. No, we had oh. no, uh, no voice at no. all. No. Did we have the... a voice? Did we have a say? Did they listen to us? Absolutely no. not. No. Not anybody in all the federal and the state labor. They do not have a law for seniors, so it wasn't written in their books what to do with us. They talk about protecting the, the workers' rights, but in this case, we're, we're being damaged, we're being abused, not protected at all. If I could send a message to the labor force, I would say, open your eyes don't you realize that what you have done has been a serious injustice? That you have taken discretionary income and full-time income away from a huge number of people just to follow a narrow 
law that does not apply to us. Although age discrimination in employment is illegal, two-thirds of older job seekers report encountering it. Ageism is present in the home, workplace, and in many institutions. I think that age discrimination is a huge issue in this country. I think in our society, we don't believe that older people can do anything. We kind of put them aside. We believe that there's something to take care of as opposed to someone who could actually still be taking care of us or could still be involved in a dynamic way with the rest of the world. Even if it's just to come in and help somebody in the house or help the disabled or whatever you can do it makes you feel worthy of being alive why else would you be alive you could be a robot that's really important to everybody the challenges faced by sarah oliver handbags is only one example of a larger issue if we don't come up with creative and innovative solutions now inequities for seniors in the workplace and in society will continue to grow. We need to look beyond the existing legislation in order to create equity for our senior citizen population. The only thing I really want to get across and speak about, and I would be happy to do this all year long that I'm alive, is to get this labor department to redo their rules and look at the people that they're, that they're working for, really, and make this government meet the people's needs and so up to now I'm really disappointed. I had never dreamed that my government would have anything so stupid. And you could quote me. <laughs> <laughs>